this was actually the most collaborative project uh, I've ever worked on. So really, I think what people will see when they see the show is that it feels like one voice. I can't breathe, I can't sleep, I can't think. Baby, I'm gone, gone, gone. Bees in the bonnet. I'm gonna lose control. I love voices that don't sound like you've been trained for musical theater. And we have a bunch of them in this show. Um, I always lean towards that kind of thing. Um, and she has a very distinctive voice. She sounds like a recording star to me, and she does even in the room. So I knew going in, even as I was writing the song and singing myself, singing the demos, I could imagine her singing it. When we produced the song and then mixed it, we wanted it to sound like it could be a track on, you know, someone's pop album or someone's at least funk album. And I think we came really close uh, because of her. You really are, you're the guy who fucked it up. You really fucked it up. Listen, Mike, I know when Mr. Opportunity comes tiptoeing and teasing, you're the kind of man who grabs him by the balls. What becomes apparent when you hear the song Two Things is the incredible bromance and relationship that these two best friends and roommates have. It sums it up beautifully, but also David and I made a decision early on with this character that he was gonna be the voice of the audience. And he does it with both glee of the fact that he's enjoying watching Michael screw up his life, but also with sincere warning is, well, you gotta figure this out. And Andy is able to capture both those things at the same time, and the song is, one, without a doubt, one of the highlights of the show. It brings the audience so much joy at the top of the second act when we're trying to get them back into the show. And from that moment on, they just continue. It's odd, you're so old, I'm so young, and my abs are like slabs of fine granite. My bod is like gold and I'm hung and you're old. Oh, I said that, but damn it! It's really fun to dive into a song knowing that it just exists to be funny. Get the laughs, get the laughs. This was just really fun. David does something in the middle of the song, which is you, we are so accustomed to hearing a, a traditional musical comedy song and the rhyme of that song played out in a certain way. And he throws two twists into the song that you don't see coming. And one of the joys every night of watching the show was hearing the audience, I know it's coming, and hearing the audience react to that and, and just the, 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 the euphoria they feel when they realize, oh, they've been tricked.